Good morning. Just pulled in over here to set up the cameras at Rock Creek. That is our very, very, very ugly load. It's uh, special shape. Um, remind me, maybe next week, I'll try to show it to you guys with the tarps off. But uh, my tarps aren't even long enough because it's overhanging the back and the front far enough that I've got gaps in the tarp. It's, it took me almost two hours to, to tarp this thing. And I can't even get up there. Look how close that is to the truck. I can't even get up there to put the reverse cam up. I'm gonna have to do it from this side. I just broke the mount. All right, totally broke the mount putting it up there, but I had to quickly replace it. Hammer down. We are gonna climb Rock Creek up Anarchist. Usually we shoot video going down the Anarchist on Fridays, but I figure we need to change it up. I would love to say get as much momentum as I can here, but I gotta do the speed limit. Hopefully the rear facing cam isn't all skewed because I haven't had time to test it out. It's like go, 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 go. Because I'm running against curfews. We are 11 feet 1 inch wide. I guess you could make the argument that not all the panels are exactly square with the trailer. So I might be a little bit wider than 11 feet and one inch, but it's pretty darn close. Heavy load going to Vancouver Island. We picked it up in the Kootenays. Kolesnikov mass timber. Took me an hour and 57 minutes to tarp because it's just such an ugly shape. And then the front corners, I'm so was so concerned about their perfect scoops for wind to pick up and then balloon the tarps out. So I threw uh, two straps over top of the tarp, one at the front of this tarp, and then. Uh, right in the middle of the first tarp, right, or right at, I guess the first tarp, the very front and the very back of the first tarp have a strap on it. It's 
to make sure it doesn't billow out from the wind. And it seemed to it seems to have done the trick. hairpin, switchback, whatever you want to call it. It's a beautiful climb. hard climb here. We're in 12th gear doing 44 kilometers an hour. Uh, the traditional manual 12th gear would be 5th gear over. Automated transmission. Cummins power 500 horses. I don't say that all the time but most of you guys know. I should mention it every now and then. So yeah, that elevation map worked pretty good on yesterday's video. We'll see if it works on today's. to make this as timely as possible. I don't know if we'll have enough time to go all the way over Anarchist or not, but it seems like it might be a little bit too far to get all the way over Anarchist. Well, I would like to try to get all the way down into the Soyuz. I'm not making that promise, but we'll see. We'll make it at least to the Anarchist brake check. Good speed here. Still singling.
got another little switch back here. It's where trucks always roll, so you kind of take your time around these corners more than sometimes you think you need to. kilometers an hour, 13th gear, which would be 6th direct, well, down to 12, which would be 5th over. Trying to gain some speed again. back up to speed for eighth gear direct and we have to slow down okay we gotta slow down more I was going back in the throttle maybe not <laughs> still getting pushed I'm tight I'm tight I'm getting pushed Pushed off the highway. Yeah, it, not very often the truck gets loose. In the winter it does. But on regular road, always tight. I guess Europeans, you guys would say uh, understeer. Rarely oversteer, always understeer. So imagine you're driving your car and you're going a little reckless and doing a little bit of speeding and you come into a corner and the front tire doesn't want to grip and your car kind of goes over the yellow line and as you come around the corner and you, you kind of leave your lane. That's how every corner feels like in a big rig. Every corner feels like the big rig right here. It's like it wants to just pulling me over the white line. It's like, come on, more steer, you can do it. Every corner feels like that in a big rig. You don't really think about it, but I know when you first start learning to drive, that definitely that that feeling's there. If you think about it. Every single corner wants to put us in the ditch or in the oncoming lane. 
I guess not when you're climbing uphill and pulling hard, but. And of course, you fix that by slowing down. So if you ever wonder why big rigs go so slow around corners, that's why. up and another quad in the back of the RV. It's a unique RV with a little deck on the back. Don't see those too often. And those quads each cost more than small cars cost. Quads are expensive. And if you have a quad, you want to play hard with it. Which means you break stuff and that's expensive to repair. I loved our quad when we had it. It was a lot of fun, but it is not a cheap toy. We're in 12th gear. 48 kilometers an hour. Fifth gear over, I guess we just changed gears, so now we're in sixth direct. Eighteen kilometers to our brake check. Oh yeah, we'll definitely make it down to us. No saw use. catch up with them by, by the time the lane ends, so I'm going to stay back a bit further and not pressure them. I'm only a tiny little bit faster than them anyway, so... I don't mind following.
day, so I haven't been driving into any kind of sun, and now all of a sudden it's still cloudy, but it's starting to get bright. meters that is not enough to pass that truck how do I know this because I've passed this truck already once and it took a little over a kilometer to do it Cascade Mountain, way up in the background there. Beautiful mountain range. the summit, Anarchist Summit right there. Everything's downhill from here. slow down now already because there's a corner coming up. taking me too much long to get used to these super bees as far as what speed to come down but, yep definitely slower than with the quad deck
judging this driver how how fast they are down these hills here depends how fast they'll be down on Anarcha. So I will try to outdo them on the brake check. Hopefully there's somebody that actually does their brake check and I will zoom around the truck and trailer and get my brake check in. Hopefully beat them out of the brake check. Or else it's gonna be a slow descent down. I know I got a super B but I'm I'd be faster than they are down these hills, so I'm predicting I'd be faster down Anarchist. Or down down all the switchbacks. on the trailers from Alberta so the way they're pretty timid around these corners makes me think they haven't driven mountains very often flatlander which is fine absolutely fine I'm not complaining it's just a different style of driving you're not used to the corners hear me complaining about people driving down anarchist, anarchist way too slow because I would rather have them go down the mountain way too slow than too fast. So you'll never hear me on the radio complaining about how slow someone's going down the mountain. So every now and then you hear someone complain, I usually get on the radio and go, Hey, if it, I was really slow down this mountain the first time too. Until you know the mountain and know the corners. Because I was way too slow when I went down the first time. The first many times. <laughs> and then I slowly got faster and faster and faster. And then I got a little too fast. And I was smoking my brakes by the bottom. I'm like, okay. Don't do that again. I was getting a little too, too uh, fast, too aggressive down the mountain. What happened was there was a slow, slow truck going down the mountain ahead of me and I had to be hard on the brakes to get slowed down. And that overheated my brakes. So now I go down a speed that I know I can come to a stop if I see a big rig in front of me that's going slow without overheating mine. That seems to do the trick. Okay, that elk has Halloween decorations on it. The elk statue. Sasquatch on this corner. I wonder if Sasquatch is decorated. No, I don't see any decorations on Sasquatch. Oh, there is. There is a big, 
big fluffy spider on Sasquatch's hand. Here's our brake check. We'll do the thumpity thump thing. Check my brakes, check my tires, check my load, hammer down. Man, she's, I'm all the way around my truck and she's just barely getting out. That's okay, maybe she has one of those old Qualcomm systems that takes five minutes to register that you've come to a stop. Having said that, the logging truck just pulled out ahead of us. So we might still be slow down the mountain. But maybe the logging truck's gonna be fast, who knows? Hey look, there's the moose statue. Switch back. It will be a bit of a longer video. Hopefully it still shows up as 4K. I've been having that problem Ian mentioned that that some of the videos are not showing up as 4k so if that hack keeps happening I'm gonna have to stop putting the 4k logo at the beginning of the videos I shoot the videos in 4k I edit the videos in 4k I save the videos as the highest possible quality of 4k and I load them onto YouTube in 4k but every now and then YouTube decides not to show it in 4k Super annoying.
Yeah, you see a lot of broken down vehicles up at our fist. If you're gonna have vehicle problems, this is one of those passes that will highlight any vehicle problems you have. the gear there should be perfect by the time we get to the next switchback got the engine at fat got the engine fan on because it robs a couple extra horsepower from the engine slowing you down Caught that logging truck yet, so I'm sure he'd be heavier than me, but yeah, I think I picked the perfect gear. I'm in 14th gear, which is six over. Don't even have to touch the brakes. Oh, that's a perfectly, perfectly planned corner. Does not always happen. It's rare that I get it that good. There was construction over here. It's 430. So it, sh it should be done. It's a Friday, 430. I don't think there'll be any construction. We'll see. Either way, they're still going to make us slow down. So I'm going to grab a gear here as soon as it allows me. At least I'm assuming they're going to make us stop, so I'm going to go at a speed that I can. All this reduced speed limits turn sideways over here. Okay. We should be good. Yeah, they've turned them sideways, so... Should be two lanes. One up, one down. Yep, found the sun already. Here's the scenic viewpoints. Although you can't pull into the viewpoints now, they're closed off.
looks like they're almost done with the construction. They're basically stabilizing the slope around the hairpin. Tempting to grab a bunch of gears here, but it's not healthy to do so. See all the black lines, people hitting their brakes. Not healthy to speed up because this corner is always sketchy. In the Super B, I can actually stay in my lane. I'm not crossing the yellow line. I am running on the yellow line, but not crossing it. On the quad deck, 53 foot trailer, they're crossing that line. the last switchback. Unless you want to call the big sweeping corner on the bottom a switchback. Kind of is. Yeah. No sight of that logging truck, so you must have barreled down at full speed. ahead of us and I don't see them anywhere. Coming down at 70 kilometers an hour here. Speed limit's 80, so. Turn the fan off. Okay, I see a semi truck going into a Soyuz down there, but the logging truck's got to be behind them unless the logging truck passed them.
slowly gaining speed. Oh, there's the logging truck going past the Petro Canada right now. Okay, let's see how long it takes for me from there to get to Petro Canada. Now that we've had some good rain, fire bans have been lifted and people are burning their junk or burning some control, control fires to get rid of fuel. I'm not junk, I guess they're burning their like orchards and stuff like that, the old orchards that get pulled up and it's the time of year to do it. trees burning. Here's that Petro Canada. This is where I saw the logging truck, right here, when I called them out. <clears throat> so, it's got to be like a minute ahead of me. All right, we'll drive through Osoyas here and then call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed it a little different. I like making it a little different. Good place to pull over and park on the shoulder here and go in and get some DQ. The shoulder is wider, a little bit further back. Here it gets narrower. It's not quite as much room for a big rig, but if you park further back, it's perfect for a Dairy Queen ice cream stop. What are you doing? I don't see any blinkies, but you're moving on the shoulder. Why are you slowly driving on the shoulder? That's not a traveling lane. Still just slowly moving along. Ah, oh, they pulled off.
This corner is so much easier to make with a Super V. Even though we're really wide. Dude walked up to crosswalk and then turned around and waved me in like, ah, I want to get, I don't like that. I would prefer you just to walk. And of course, make sure I actually stop because some truckers probably don't stop. But. You see a trucker slowing down? Just 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 walk if they're gonna start slowing down. Because you've already done the damage. I've already slowed down. It's gonna take me a couple of gears to get through, I might as well stop. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs ups, all the subscribe button hits. Slowly working our way up. And of course, a huge, huge, huge thank you to those people that are doing the super chats and the people that have hit the join button. Just mind boggling amazing. And if you did none of that, but just watch to the end of this video, thank you for that too. Just getting watch time on this algorithm is super beneficial to me. So thank you for making it to the end of the video again. So for now, I am out of here. You guys have an awesome weekend. See you guys back on the road on Monday or on the bonus video tomorrow. You guys absolutely rock. <laughs>